our accents, we need to change the tool. Remember in our tool path, we said it was called a V-carve bit. If you look at this tool real closely, I don't know if you can see it too close, there's actually a V on the top, kind of a point. Well, that's going to cut our actual groove into the uh, letter Y. It's going to create those accents, as you can see right here. So what we need to do now is we need to switch out this tool. So I'm going to lay this down here, get my wrench, and lay it down there. Go ahead and hit my uh, page up command. I'm not going to change it in the X and Y axis. That's not important. Because I'm going to have to reset Z because that tool is a different length than the other one. What's important on this router here is to just go ahead and undo it. And it's like a two-stage lock. Now I can bring this down and keep loosening it a little bit. And it, my tool should come out here in a moment. And there it is. And you can tell that these tools are longer as you see here on the piece. So we have to reset Z so it adds, so it, so the tip of this tool is on the table. So I'll go ahead and put this guy back in here. I'll hold my button down to keep the lock from spinning. And I'll put it up there about an inch into the collet. I'll hand tighten it. And then I'll come and use my wrench and I'll just tighten it here one turn and two turns. And that's plenty. We don't want to do any more than that. And I'm going to put this in my pocket because I'm going to come back and use this in a moment. So now, we got to go ahead and set the Z offset again for the V for the V uh, V bit, as you see. As you can look on the screen here, I'm actually one inch and almost a little over five eighths high. So I'm just going to step down. As you can see, the tool coming down, and I'm going to kind of eyeball this because I'm just cutting a V groove, and I'm going to go down right there. That looks pretty good. So now, same process as before. We'll go ahead and. Go to machine coordinates, ref all home zero, go back out of machine coordinates, go back to offsets, come down here, save offsets, select G54, and save G54. Now, to be sure, again, let's kind of do what we did before. I'm going to raise up the tool. We're going to go off to the side and test that offset. So I've done that, now I'm going to go to zero on my Mach 3 screen. Now we're good to go. Okay, so in the next video, we'll go ahead and mill out the accents.